for your disclaimer requirements, you're going to need to make sure that your users have got the correct attributes set on them. So if you're looking at Active Directory Users and Computers, make sure on the General tab, the Address tab, and the Organization tab, that all these fields are populated correctly. Let's close that down. Now, to open the Exchange Management Console, I've already got one open down the bottom, so I'm going to open it down there. You need to expand Organizational Configuration. Go to the Hub Transport Mode. Transport Rules. Just right click in the center. New Transport Rule. Give it a sensible name. Pull that up a little bit and select from users that are inside or outside the organization and make sure at the bottom inside of the organization is selected because we want to append this to outbound going traffic. Next, select append disclaimer text, third option down, and then click the link below that says disclaimer text and paste in the text you want on your disclaimer. Now you'll notice when I put mine in there's all sorts of variables. It's all written in HTML. If you go to the website www.peatnetlive.com there's more examples there that you can copy and paste and a list of these variables that you can put in. But essentially it's just HTML. Click OK. Next we don't want any exceptions. Next, new, and hopefully it should say completed. Finish, and there's our transport rule created. Now, outgoing traffic will have a disclaimer appended onto the bottom, auto populated with the Active Directory attributes. Another cool feature with um, Outlook Web Access or Outlook Web App as it is now, your users can actually change this themselves. So if their titles or phone numbers are wrong, they can go into here, click Edit, and they can change this information themselves, which obviously lessens your administrative overhead. As contact numbers, home phone numbers, mobile phone numbers, etc. And users all have rights to change these attributes themselves from within Outlook Web App. Thanks very much.